The next kick we're going to look at is the turning kick. From our stance, we just draw the leg up like so, causing a squeeze in there, keeping it high. Turn the standing foot, keeping the knee high, kicking across and landing forwards. So the idea is to kick across the opponent, whether it's low, whether it's middle, or that was a bit high, or whether it's slightly higher. Like so. And the idea is to do it fluidly. And bringing the leg back in quickly. So from the side, bring the knee up keeping lifted, keeping the weight on the standing foot, shift across, kicking and landing forwards. And then we immediately want to bring that weight back in, bring that leg back in and down. There are two main types of turning kick. One involves turning the foot halfway so that the heel is pointing out 45 degrees and the other way is turning the foot so that the heel is turned entirely round so that from your stance the heel turns 180 degrees so that the heel is now pointing towards the target as you kick. So the first way is 90 degrees, this opens the hips partially creating a kind of upward kick because the, the hips aren't fully engaged but it's quicker and the second kind is when you fully turn in so the heel turns 180 degrees, turning the hips all the way across for a more powerful kick. So if we wanted to do the, the roundhouse kick, the turning kick, we could, bring, we could bring it in to the knee fold, the knee crease, excuse me, like so applying pressure against the back of that knee, you'll instantly feel an engagement of the core and a squeezing of the hip crease, which prepares you properly to do that kick as soon as you turn out and you can then bring it back in. So we're gonna go into the crease, extend that ankle, kick out, bring back. As you can see, it's a tricky one to keep centered, but it's a brilliant exercise. We can go slow and controlled, applying pressure, extending the ankle, sinking down, turning across and kicking. Once we're confident, we can build up the speed. Once we're used to it, So that our kicks, after just doing that exercise, have a certain quality about them because we have drawn everything in, applied pressure, we've drawn it into the center, kept it in the center, kept the heel, kept the toe aligned throughout the whole movement, even as we come back. So some things to remember there are the heel to toe alignment. There's always the heel and toe. As we kick out, we come back to that center line in order to then make the next move. 